Hi there, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I wanted to talk about carb cycling and why it's really, really important for women to carb cycle, benefits and things that you can get out of doing a carb cycle. So what is carb cycling? A really fancy way of just saying eating different amount of carb every day to day, to day right? A lot of times women, when they want to get healthy, when they want to um, you know, get on a different nutrition path, I wanna lose weight, I wanna get fit, I wanna get stronger, they'll think, okay, I'm gonna do this all day every day, the same thing. And uh, the result, not necessarily a good thing to do, especially for females. Our bodies are very adaptable and they are designed to acclimate as quickly as possible. Our bodies are designed to say, oh my gosh, if things are shift and change in our environment space, in our you know, input, output, whatnot, that we're gonna downregulate to store as much as possible. That's just what we do. Great, super duper. So what does that mean? What can we do about it then? Um, a lot of times you've heard, never go to the gym and do the same workout every day. Like you don't, if you go to the gym and you get on the stair stepper and you do the stair stepper for an hour every day that your body will get used to that and then won't burn as many calories because your body gets used to that activity level and it's not going to force it to work harder. Same thing is true for um, interval training. When I talk to people about doing interval training, I always tell them to pick exercises that are in different planes back to back. So it's not, you're not gonna do um, like high knees and then jumping jacks because those are standing up. You do high knees and then a plank and then jumping jacks because then you're changing your body plane that switches things up, forces your body to work harder. Little things like that make a big difference in your results. So carb cycling is really just eating a different amount of carb day to day to keep your body guessing. Now this can be a great thing to do to jumpstart, to restart, short term, right? You don't need to always carb cycle, but especially if you're someone who is like, I can't do intermittent fasting or I'm nursing and that's not an option for me or I'm not, I don't have time to go to the gym, I'm not healthy enough to go to the gym, what can I do to really boost my metabolism and get the most out of my body? Carb cycle, great, th great place to start. So this is just an example. I'm gonna go through a three day carb cycle. I'll do a different video with a five day carb cycle. But, so this is the day one, two, and three. There we go. <laughs> Days one, two, and three. Fancy, right? These are carb amounts. So this would be say 200 grams, 50 grams, and 125. Now this is an example, right? This is just an example of what you would go through. Days, grams of carb. Easy three day carb cycle. Eating 200 grams of carb during the day, eating 50 grams of carb for day two, and 125 grams of carb for day three. This is total. This is not at one serving, this is for the day. Each of these uh, is just for the entire day. 200 grams, that's a lot. <laughs> and this is done, carbs are breads, cereals, pastas, crackers, pretzels, chips, you know, grains, fruit. Fruit is also a carb. I don't necessarily count vegetables. Um, yeah, there's fiber and things in that, right? But like spinach. Four grams of carb per serving if you look at it. Uh, okay, but it's really fiber. So it's not, it doesn't do the same thing in your blood sugar um, as though it's like bread and fruit does. So those are the carbs that I really count. You can get them kind of any time of day, but I recommend spacing them out. Easier to get it all in. And by following this pattern, you just go 250, 125, repeat. 250, 125, repeat. 250, 125, repeat. Again, this is something for my moms that are nursing that really wanna kick things up a notch, but they can't, um, they're restricted from doing fasting at all. This is a great tactic. I have a friend of mine who she actually lost, it was over 22 pounds in like six or seven weeks just doing carb cycling. She's like, it was amazing. I wasn't really working out. I was eating a lot. I was like, oh no. <laughs> carb cycling is amazing. Again, not something that you always need to do, but a great tactic to jumpstart things. Also, in terms of eating for your cycle, I recommend doing this during your estrogen phase. Estrogen, um, when your body's higher in estrogen, and that's typically days one through 14 of your cycle. Um, days one through 14 of your cycle, so the day one is the first day of your period up until you, about you ovulate, 
that means that your body's higher in estrogen. Estrogen burns carbs naturally. So when you do that combined with the carb cycling, boom, double carb burning time. Woo, super fun. All right, there's that info I got for you. And let me know if you have questions. You can always comment or message me if you want more information.